What's up guys? I just got a new toy and I wanted to share it with you. Some of you have seen this on a few other channels, but not something that's around a lot. This is the Sharp Electronic Knife Sharpness Tester. Um, I want to give a few thoughts on it. So I, uh, right before this came, I knew it was coming. So I, uh, I sharpened it. I sharpened a knife uh, as sharp as I could possibly get it without stropping it. I sharpened a 3000 grit on the wicked edge. Uh, I mean, it was just blowing through paper. So I knew it was really, really sharp. So I decided to test it. Get this thing set right. I decided to test it and see where I came out at. And I came out at 120. And as you can see, that's about the lowest measurement you can have. Uh, it's that double edge razor blade, whatever that means. But it's, it goes from zero to 100. It's in 100 uh, increments. And I was under 100. Uh, 200 is a utility razor blade, so I was significantly under that. So that was pretty amazing. Um, I tested it two or three times, and believe it or not, I was getting uh, the same results. I kind of was worried about this because it's kind of primitive. Uh, it looks, when I first saw this thing, I thought it was kind of an electronic reading here. It's not. It's a piece of, like, fishing line, for better of a lack of term. Um... It's a, a low test fishing line. Uh, so what you do, this is, like I said, extremely primitive, but, but effective. Place your knife here. And see, I messed up because when you put your knife there, you can't put any weight on there. And then you let the, you let the weight of the knife fall on the blade, on the thing, and when it cuts it, See that one in that spot got 195, but still under 200. That's under a utility razor blade for a knife that I didn't even run through the lapping films. I just stropped it a little bit, went to 3000 and stropped it. That's, I can get a knife significantly sharper than that. Um, the only thing I'll be concerned about <clears throat> is that it doesn't measure. I, I would think under the 100, I would want it to have 75, 50, 25, because I can get knives significant, significantly sharper than this. I would kind of want to measure those degrees, but it doesn't go that far. <clears throat> you can kind of gauge though. I mean, if it's showing you got 50 on there, you know you got an extremely sharp knife. Um, so this is a magnet that sticks on here. The way this works is this is just a scale, a gram scale. This is your test unit, okay? And it has... This is the um, upgraded one. They have one that has cartridges you stick in there. It's a little bit cheaper than this one, but this one has a spool of wire at the bottom. You can just keep using it over and over and I open it. It's a lot of wire in there or fishing line or whatever you want to call it. So you tighten that up, feed it through the hole, pull it, you gotta get it snug, wrap it around there. I tested it without getting it tight and you get, you get worse readings. When I got it, it was taut. It was extremely tight. So I guess that's the way they want you to do it. So now you're reset and ready to go. So this is a knife that I've carried for a couple of weeks after I sharpened it. Let's see what it's at. 390, but I've, I've used this knife. I've had it in my pocket almost for two weeks. So it's been used quite a bit, but this is still well, I guess it's not shaving hair right there. So yeah, it's S35. I mean, it, you're gonna lose that fine edge, but I guarantee you I could strop this thing for about two or three minutes and have it down in the hundreds uh, because it's only cut a few boxes and tape and stuff like that. But um, would I recommend this? If you sharpen knives, possibly, uh, just to be able to show your customers that their knife is sharp. Uh, that way you would never have anyone say that, hey, I got my knife back and it wasn't sharp. If for private use, eh, it's pretty pricey for that. I mean, it's like a couple of hundred dollars. So I don't, because it, it's not a baseline 
that these numbers nobody else knows. It's not a baseline you can say, oh, my knife said a 110. Well, nobody knows what a 110 means. This is just a baseline to check your own knives. If you're really into sharpening, yeah, I mean, that's cool. It's something to uh, check out. But um, if you don't do it professionally, if you don't get paid for it, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't buy it, but I just wanted to check it out. I bought it for the, to review it and kind of give my thoughts on it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to sharpen a bunch of knives and test them out and kind of give my uh, better opinion. This is more of a unboxing, but uh, anyway, kind of cool that there's something like this out there. Like I said, they got a unit that doesn't have this. It just has a little cradle that holds like a, those things look like a, a floss. Those things you see that little bow floss things. You stick it in there and just cut it and stick another one. Uh, this to me looked like it had about a mile of string on it. So I didn't want to have to keep buying those cartridges. So that's what I got. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. God bless you and your families. Have a great night. Pray for our country.